What's up boys, welcome back to the channel. Captain, so, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna check out the Secure Quarantine Center. I need you to check in with Commander Hector at the Secure Quarantine Center in the Tenderloin. We got 80 civilians in there, but one of them's missing. Looks like they were building an IED. I could use your eyes on the investigation. Well, fair enough, all right. So we're gonna check this one out. Benitez. Shit, we found an IED. It's in a sub-basement, some tunnel. We think it's how she got out. I'm not after a fight. All right, let's do this, boys. Oh shit! I think this thing's gonna. Well then, that's a shame, these poor Agent. bastards. Agent, are you okay? Agent, get anyone you can out of the building. I can't. Oh Jesus! Oh shit! We got this, we got this. So I guess in other words what they're thinking was that this was a hit. Nice. Got him. Got him. Agent, Got him. We need to get a handle on what the hell's going on. See if you can find anything on any of those Rikers. I just found something. Analyzing smartphone data. GPS data identified. Fucking smartphones. Even though you can't make calls, a lot of people still carry them around. Road's got a lot of cell towers back online. Maybe there's something useful here. Get that phone back to the base of operations, Agent. Mm -hmm. Maybe Rhodes can dig something useful out of it. He's been putting together a rig for tactical intel analysis. It's about time we use it. Damn it. We've been hitting the Rikers pretty hard and the other factions, too. I knew one of them would hit back at us. I just... I thought we'd see them coming. All right, boys. So we're back at the base of operations. Going to the tactical operations center. Oh, this place. I know this place. I died on the other side of this building and magically just appeared down here one day and I was like, what the hell? I forgot this was a thing. Yeah, see? It's the underground is what they want. Agent, good. Reports of the tactical operations center Rhodes has been fed up. What? I thought it was offline. I just see the exit. Yeah, what the hell? I guess it's gonna be like, hey, yeah, we need to uh, buy shit. Yeah, see underground DLC. Okay, so mission complete. All right, cool. So I, that was just to introduce me to that. Okay, cool. Well, we figured out what that was. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna buy the DLC. All right. So I will see you guys at the uh, next location because we got a couple more that we all wanted to get through. All right, boys. So it's time to investigate Camp Clinton. Which I believe is the safe house over here. I tried to come here at one point, but it was all closed off. 
So I guess now it's open? Yeah, it looks like it. Unleashed to visit Camp Clinton. Hmm. All of the safe houses have been hand. Don't nice. Be Sheila Blackmore. Special blueprints vendor. Got to go Sheila Blackmore. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, high value target. Officers. Premium vendor. Ah, so this is literally meant to be like, a, I guess, a in-game content area. VP. Optimization. Resistance. Recalibration. Crafting. That's exactly pretty much what it is. Ooh, that looks cool as fuck. Alright. Talk. Hey there. I'm glad you made it. Welcome to Camp Clinton. It's our toehold over here on the west side piers. We've been moving into the area in hopes of bringing it under control. Unfortunately, we're not the only ones here. That isn't surprising. What is surprising is that we've gotten evidence of them working together. That's why we need you here. To confirm they are cooperating, find out why, and once you do that, to shut them down. Good luck. Hopefully you won't need it. Well, alright then. Resistance. Well then, kills outside 50 meters. Resistance discovered. Okay, and that's what those are. Alrighty. Alrighty, boys. I'll see you guys at the next location. Agent, we've started pushing further into the dark zone. We're unlocking the gates that lead north towards Central Park. I need you to get up there and do a little recon. Let me know what you see and stay safe. It's not exactly friendly territory. Agent, we've started pushing further into the dark zone. We're unlocking the gates that lead north towards Central Park. I need you to get up there and do a little recon. Let me know what you see and stay safe. It's not exactly friendly territory. Found out a bit more about those supply drops. It's division gear, so it's especially important that we get there first. We can't have Shade Tech getting into the hands of what's left of the factions. Why it's getting dropped, I still don't know. Transmissions jammed. Proximity coverage only. Backup activated. System rebooted. Morning. Now entering Dark Zone. Gotta keep our eyes forward. Shit. Oh, f great. They're yellow. I'm about to get my ass handed to me. Fuck, move, dude! Jeez! Okay, uh, why I'm not moving around like I want to, I don't know. It's frustrating, though. Okay. Okay. Oh, great. This is not going to be easy. All right, boys, you get to watch me struggle as I attempt to make it to this mission. I don't think I'm going to cut this out, because I know that a couple of you have been asking about uh, seeing content in the dark zone. I hate to say it, but this is probably about as much as you're going to get. Okay. Another landmark. Okay. 
to the last time I tried to go through the dark zone to get here, and I didn't even make it past zone three. This time I'm cutting straight to the end. And... Yeah, so far... Oh, jeez. So far I'm kind of proud of the fact that I've lasted so long. This is, uh... This is gonna be dangerous. This is gonna be terrible. Hopefully, I don't run into another large, just, pack of enemies. I want to find out what this mission is. We're, okay, we're almost there. Oh, yeah. It was a safe room. Alrighty, boys. We made it to the safe room. That's damn good news. <laughs> okay, what the hell? It's a big ass one. Oh, it's a fire station. You look like you need my help. Buddy, the type of help I need, you can't provide. Unless your name is Sherry. You know what? Never mind. Special vendor. Here we go. Alright, boys, let's do this. Look, there's no room. There's just no room anymore. The park is full. They, they, they can't keep up with the dying. The transport trucks are dumping bodies outside and headed back for more. Jesus, I, I've never seen so much death. They have to seal it off. No one should ever see this. Not exactly scenic New York City, is it? But at least we got some idea what we're getting into. Thanks, Agent. That was it? All of that, just to listen to a stupid recording. You're kidding me. Oh my god, okay. Got some new landmarks around. I'm not going anywhere near that. Okay. Alrighty, boys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, next, we're going to do is going to be uh, Unknown Signal. So, yeah. I'll see you guys when we get there. Alright, boys. So, I just found out the hard way that you can't fast travel while you're in the dark zone. Which I guess that makes sense. So, yeah. Um, I guess you get to watch me struggle trying to get the hell out of here. Or I could just cheese it and just walk up to someone and let them kill me. And then just, you know, respawn at the nearest place, but... I feel like that's just too anticlimactic. So let's do this. Let's see if we can make it all the way back with no issues. Okay, okay, okay. All we gotta do is make it 0.3 kilometers. Oh shit, they're all yellow. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I, I would have tried to ignore them, but I was just way too close to them. I knew that as soon as I kept running, they were just going to shoot me in the back. And if that happened, then, well, I'd be dead. Come on, we're almost there. Hostiles moving out of proximity. Dude. Contamination levels lowering to acceptable okay, thank God. levels. 
We're so close. I can almost see it. Oh, yeah, I just realized I'm level 15 now. Yay. Okay. Alright, let's go, let's go. Alrighty. Let's get the hell out of here. Attention. Leaving Dark Zone. Hey, you wanna see this stuff or not? Oh man. Okay. Alrighty boys. I'll see you guys at the next one. Alrighty boys, let's do this. Let's go and investigate the unknown signal. Which, if I understand correctly, this is essentially the last thing. This is the last mission. Well, quote-unquote mission. Because if I remember correctly, like, the General Assembly and then Unknown Signal were essentially, like, the last two things that you do. After that, it's just nothing but in-game content. I could be wrong, but th that's what I remember. Alright, let's do this. This isn't creepy at all. Oops. What the fuck? Okay. Well, I was told to suck somebody's certain phallic object. I don't know where the hell they're at. What the hell? Active echo beacon detected. What the hell? Wait, I'll do the echo in a second. I want to see. Okay. Am I wrong in thinking that? Doesn't that look like that protein thing? From when Candle and Faye were talking about how Amherst made the virus? You threw it in like a protein replicator or something like that? Generator or some shit? Does that not look like it? Let's activate the echo. Well, here I am, Aaron Keener, the first wave's prodigal son. Normally I'd do this face to face, but I'm not 100% sure which way you'll jump. You act one way when Ms. Lao is watching, and another way entirely when you're off the leash. That's an interesting contradiction. You see, I think that deep down you get it. You know, the old rules, laws, governments, those things died on Black Friday. But the feral PMCs, the convicts, the ones smart enough and good enough to take what they need, they'll survive. Me? I'm gonna prosper. Oh, you could too, but you took an oath, right? You got a duty. Those are both ways of saying that your conscience is fucking you. You ask yourself, who has earned a right to tell you what to do? Do you know how many agents died to hold the dark zone just for the brass to give up and put a wall around it? You don't believe me? You should check the place out for yourself. But the people you're working for, they're irrelevant now. Amherst changed how the game is played, and I have got the vision to win. I got Chernenko, I got a DNA printer, and a very interesting recipe book. I'm gonna write my own rules. What? You should think about getting in on this thing. I'll be seeing you. What the fuck? So I was... First of all, yeah, I was completely right. The information you found in that lab was the crown jewel. 
I think we can break this thing now. But we've got some more information. A voice from the grave. Listen to what Amherst has to say. Like I said, yeah, this was his fucking- This is the lab where he made the damn thing. And Keener not only found it, but took all of it. Let's look at the evidence. Holy crap. What you're looking at is the smallpox virus, one of the deadliest pathogens on the planet. For centuries, it did a wonderful job of helping keep the human population in check. But times change, and sometimes Mother Nature needs a hand in improving her creations. Like, say, speeding them up a little bit, making them contagious when they should be quietly incubating in a host, or making them more lethal. I didn't come up with the approach on my own. My friend Vitaly is one of the pioneers in the field, and the idea has been around for years. Genome as data. You see, once we digitized DNA, we made it infinitely mutable. We could do a thousand virtual variations in the time it used to take to grow a one lab grade generation of pathogens. And we could pick the best, most lethal combinations and make them real. That's how you make a killer virus, you see. Mix in genetic code from other diseases, and you move the sliders all the way up on lethality and virulence. The goal was a 90% mortality rate. I'm not sure my green poison is gonna quite hit that, but honestly, that's just details. As long as most of humanity goes, the Earth stands a fighting chance. Technically, technology is what's killing the planet. But that's not really the case. It's the greed that drives the technology. But a funny thing happened on the way to $100 genome maps and 3D printed plastic toys. Someone figured out those technologies could be repurposed, modified for the greater good. Me. Now, my virus is gonna do what nature's always done. Decide who lives and who dies. And if nature decides I die, then I die. If nothing else, I'll have a lot of company. Natural selection at its finest. Helped along by a little unnatural genetic manipulation. It's all data, really. Life's just a method of processing it. The same way I processed the smallpox genome on my laptop. And who's to say that wasn't the plan all along? If, by some miracle, you survive green poison, then nature's decided you deserve to live. The rest of us shouldn't and won't. Godspeed. I'll see you in hell. Holy crap. So, yeah. Amherst is literally after... I mean, I should have seen that coming. He's literally after freaking depopulation. That is insane. Now Keener's got a hold of everything he needs to essentially remanufacture a said virus. This is, uh, yeah, that's crazy. This guy's freaking, he's, he's insane. He's a lunatic. All right, boys. So here we are. Pretty much where it all started. Or at least as close as I can get to it. This game has been amazing. It's been absolutely awesome. There's still plenty of like little side stuff that I can do. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to do them. Um, the game is done, essentially. There's a lot of stuff here that would essentially keep me busy. But um, yeah, I've, I've already got plans for new content. And this one's done. This is essentially done. I've got, I, I got what I wanted. I got to look, I finally got to look at a little bit of the dark zone. Interesting. Very difficult. Holy crap, I got my ass handed to me. Multiple times. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't recording when I did that. I, I really should have been. Honestly, I kind of wish I was recording. But I didn't. Un unfortunate. However. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this all. Um, I hope you guys had fun watching. I hope you guys enjoyed me being stupid and sometimes dying like an idiot. Um, there was a lot of stuff I cut out just because of running around and stuff like that. But for the most part, you guys saw all the meat and potatoes. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button so you guys don't miss another video. I will probably be announcing what is n next. Probably on the community tab, so keep an eye out. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and bye.